Also, duck and duck on the spot. And I straight arms, straight legs. Stretch it out. Get that blood flow going. And we should have 10 on the line for healing tonight. What's going on, guys? There he is. What's up, Angie? What's up, what's up? I'm going to go out here. Almost, almost 40. All right. It's a good class. we have got more people coming in. Scissors, forward and back. And loosen up the shoulders. Loosen up the hips. And we're going to hop and twist. Be nice and light on the ball of the feet. And it's Martina's first class, okay? So you make sure you keep an eye on her. I will do. Make sure she's working hard. Like, oh, oh, we're watching you. <laughs> and the opposite feet. I'm going to stretch out our hamstrings here. And loosening up our hips as well. Nice and tall. And keep going forward. And right into body weight squats. And warm up those legs, the quads. That full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. And going to our inchworms, so nice thick legs. Walk it down into plank position, shoulder above the wrists, and walk it back up. And Yes, feeling the stretch in the hamstring. Also working up our shoulders here. And walk it down one more time. Once we're at the bottom, we're going into our push ups. Getting the chest down to the floor, forward extension to the top. You do it on your knees if you need to. Arm up the tricep. And back up into plank position. We're going plank twist. Open up to the T. Up. up to the T. Work on core stability, also the shoulder stability. And on to our back. Knees up, right above our hip. And we're going crunches, elbow to knee. Really working the core here. Is sitting on up, going Russian twist now. Tap the floor, side to side. Now work on our weights. And keep the heels in the air to make it harder, or keep it on the floor. You. And close it back up, plank position, we're going to finish off, mountain climbers. 
Land on our knees, so with our chest. Elevate that heart rate. And making that shoulders above the wrists. And relax. All right. So first up, we're going to go through our lower body circuit. So we're going to grab our chair now. And we're going to go through four exercises, three rounds total. Exercise number one, we're going into jump squats. So we're going to squat down as soon as you tap the chair right up into the jump. Okay, if you can't do the jump, just do regular squats, making sure we get that full depth for the squat. So really working our squats there. Exercise number two, one feet is going to be on the chair, going into that split squat. Okay, so we're going to target the glutes here and warm the bottom as well. So we're going 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side. Exercise number three, heels on the chair, and then stack the knees above our hip, and we're going into hip raises here, really squeezing the glutes at the top, you know, feel the tension in the hamstring as well. Keeping the heels on the chair, toes pointing up. And we're going to finish off with core, keeping the heels on the chair, and going into crunches, elbows to knee. Okay. So that is our lower body circuit. We are going to start it up in 10 seconds here. Jump squats. All right, get ready, guys. We're going to do some jump squats. All right, starting in three, two, one, jump squats. Let's go. That's it, guys. So tap your bum on the chair. Okay, just know that it's there and jump right up. There you go. Yep, you guys can use your hands to help you guys counterbalance as you go along. Nice. Yeah, that's it, Martina. Keep going. Keep going. Got 15 seconds. Nice. Okay. Three, two, one, and rest. Got 15 seconds. Moving on to our split squats next. Okay, so split squats next, guys. One leg on the chair. You're getting ready to go into that squat. One, okay. staying on the same side. 30 seconds. Okay, so try to find a nice balance. Make sure you're not too wobbly. Okay, you can use your hands to help you guys balance as well. That's it, Jessica. Nice, that's it, Joy. Okay, and after 15 seconds, we're going to switch to the other side. So keep going. Hope Coach Herman will tell you guys when to switch. Three, two, one, and switch. Okay, on to the other leg, guys. Okay, so make sure you guys keep, keep in mind what's a good, comfortable foot distance for your foot in the chair, right? If you want, you can move a little bit further away, be a little bit closer. So just, just adjust as you need to, to make yourself a little bit more comfortable for Five, these split squats. Three, two, and rest. That's it. When we move on to our hip raises next. Okay, so hip raises next, guys. Heels are on the chair. Let's go. Good, just lifting your hips and your butts up into the air. Make sure, guys, you're not too far away from the chair. Okay, if you're too far, just scoot your butts a little bit closer. They're perfect. That's it, guys. And it's just pushing into your heels, lifting those glutes up into the air. That's it, guys. Good. Okay, keep your core tight as well as you come up. Okay, you don't have to do it very quickly. Right, just take your time. I want to see good, solid reps. 
Nice, Nitty. There you go, Abby. Good. Reva, maybe move in a little bit closer. Move your move your body. There you go. Or, yep, there you go. Or pull your chairs in. Perfect. Looking good. Moving on to the crunches next. Okay, so next, guys, you're doing heel elevator crunches. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. All right, let's go, let's go. So keeping your heels elevated on the chair. You're focusing on that crunch coming up. Okay, Her Herman's demonstrating for you guys. Good. Make sure you exhale as you come up. So force yourself, force that breath of air out of your body as you exhale. There you go, got Kenny's little daughter. She's so cute. Okay, keep going, keep going. Okay, show her how it's done. Good, good job, guys. Okay. Three, two, one, jump squat. All right, get ready, guys. Jump squats. Okay, let's try to get some air time here, guys. Keep that chest up, right? Don't bring that chest too low towards your knees. Keep that head forward. And again, we always want to breathe, right? So exhale as you jump up into the air. That way, you will naturally breathe back in when you come down. Looking good, Steven. There you go. Nice, guys. Keep using those arms to help you guys counterbalance. 15 seconds. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Guys, remember to push those knees out a little bit wider. Good. Push those knees out. That's it, Rayhan. There you go. Push those knees out a little bit wider there. Good. Three. Nice, Karen. One. That's it, Bonnie. Good squat for that. Okay, split squats, guys. So pick one foot to start. So again, find a good balance, right? Don't be too close, don't be too far from the chair. Hop around, adjust, find that sweet spot. Okay, and go, go, go. Nice. Okay, you're really, you're really loading onto that one foot. Push right into your foot that's planted into the ground. You're gonna feel it in those quads as you come up. Okay, you gotta make sure your core is nice and tight so you stay balanced. There you go. Looking good, guys. Three, two, one, switch, switch. Right into it. Okay, other leg, right away, guys. Other leg, let's go. That's it, Nitty. There you go. Okay, try to challenge yourself and go as low as you can. That's it, Jonathan. Good job, Kathy. Keep it up. Nice, Martina. Keep going. Keep going. You guys are doing awesome. I know it's tough, guys, but just keep it up. Try your best. Try your best. Okay, work those lower body. Nice. Okay, you guys are moving on to elevated hip raises. Okay, so heels on the chair. Just a reminder to make sure your butt's not too far away. And whenever you're ready. Good. Okay, so let's go. Herman's already started. Try to keep up. Try to keep up, guys. Okay, push in to your heels and lift those butts up. You should feel it in your butts. You should feel it in your hamstrings. That's it, Steven. Good, good. Make that little adjustment there. That's it, Margaret. Nice. Good. Okay, try to keep those toes pointed up, guys. Get your heels to dig and push into that chair. So point those toes up. That's it, Rosa. Good. Okay, you guys are moving on to crunches now. Be ready. Three, two, one, let's crunch. And go. Crunches, crunches, guys. Good. 
Okay, working out those abs. Make sure to breathe out every time you come up. Good, keep going, keep going. Okay, as you get tired, just take your time, right? You don't have to rush it. Try to go all the way. And rest. One more round. Okay, you got one more round, guys. One more round. Okay, you're flying through it. Five seconds. Okay, you guys, you already know we're going back to squat jumps. Here we go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, make sure the knees are pointed out. That's a Faye. Nice, Martina. There you go. Good, Sonia. Good. Okay, controlling that descent coming down. So nice and controlled on the way down and explosive on the way up. That's a joy. There you go. Good. Big swing with the arm. Nice. Good, Homa. Keep it up. 15 seconds. Come on, guys. Halfway there. That's it, Nikki. There you go. There you go, Nikki. Come on. That's it, guys. Good. Let's squat there. Okay, you're going to isolate it, guys. Going back to split squats. Pick one leg. Five. Use this time to set up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, guys, people have a tendency to look down as you do this movement, this exercise. Guys, keep your head forward. So, as if you're walking, keep your eyes looking at the horizon. Right? It's actually going to help you with your balance. Keep that chest up. Focus on letting that rear knee drop. As you come up, just push into that front leg and feel your hips rise up from the ground. Okay, so knee drops down, hip rises up. Focus on those two movements. Okay, switch it up guys, other side, other side. Nice. Okay, same cues, good. Okay, see everybody looking forward now, good. Okay, control that rear knee down. Okay, if your knee starts to buckle around, guys, just slow it down a little bit. Try to keep it stabilized. Okay, keep your mind focused on what's moving. Three. Good job, Linda. One. Hip raises the next. Good job, guys. Okay, now let's work the posterior chain. You're going to work the hamstrings, work the glutes. Okay, let your quads rest for a little bit. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hip and go, go, go. Again, guys, make sure you're not too far away. Okay, you're doing hip raises, guys. Hip raises. I don't understand. That's it, Kathy. There you go. There you go. We'll save the crunches for after. Nice. Good. That's it, Abby. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, so again, feel it in the hamstrings. Feel it in the hips, in the glutes. Okay, if you want to feel it even more, add a little squeeze at the very top. Okay, squeeze those glutes at the very top. Good, make sure that hip is fully extended. Okay, keep going, keep going, guys. And time. Good. Time, time, time. About five seconds. Okay, next up, guys, elevated crunches. Let's crunch. And go. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay, so with your feet elevated on the chair, guys, you're gonna be focusing mostly on your upper abs in the mid. Okay, so really focus on those areas. You don't have to come up too, too hard. Focus on those upper abs coming up. Nice. Okay, as always, if you can, try to control your descent, right? Don't let your body slam back down, right? Control your way down. Come up nice and controlled as well. So that way you let your muscles do all the work and you're not letting yourself fall down. Very nice. Good control, Jessica. That's it, Jane. Good. That's time. Good job, guys. Let's start a break. Take your one minute and we'll move on to our upper body circuit. That's what.
Nitty, you have a wonderful assistant, by the way. She makes sure that your camera angle is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kitty, Kitty has a little assistant too. Does she? Yeah. <laughs> So everybody, your next circuit, you're gonna be working on your upper body, okay? So your lower body can get a chance to rest. Herman's gonna demonstrate for you guys what you guys need to do. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate the next four exercises. Again, we're focusing on our upper body. So exercise number one is gonna be our push-ups. So easier version, we're going on an incline, chest to chair, full extension to the top. You're feeling the tricep, working the chest. If you want more of a challenge, feet is going to be on the chair, going decline, push up. Okay, so pick either one or the push up. Exercise B, we're going into rows. So you can do an incline. Shoulders above the wrist, alternating arms, bringing our elbows up towards our wrists. We're going to be working our lats here, our back. Want more of a challenge? Going decline, raising the arm one at a time. Keeping that core strong, glutes engaged, maintaining that back. Exercise number three will be a bicep curl through chest press. So to start off, bicep curl up to 90 degrees with the elbows, pressing forward, back down. Curl up to 90 degrees and pressing forward. And exercise number four. If you're able to, you're gonna sit down, nice tall back, and going side to side twist. Just bring the chair side to side, keeping it in the air. When you're working on a core here, if you can't stay on the floor, it's too heavy, you bring it up in the air. Again, going side to side, keeping those hips facing forward, initiating with the core. Those are our four exercises. We're going to start out with our push up, either incline or decline, take the poison. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to start with the incline, decline push-ups on the chair. Make sure they don't slide around, it's stabilized. Okay. Get ready guys. For those of you with like 20, 30 pound chairs, you guys are going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. I bet some of you guys regret what chair you chose. <laughs> nice. Okay, for those of you using your sofas, good luck lifting your sofa. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> Got 20 seconds. Okay, keep it up, keep it up, guys. So Herman's showing you guys the advanced and the beginner version. Right now it's the advanced version where his feet is on the chair. So he has more weight to push off of the ground. Good, note that even though his legs are above the ground. He's not arching his back. His body is still nice and straight. Row the next. Good job, guys. And time. Five seconds. Okay, get a little break. Get ready for your rows. So either you're doing rows with your hands on the chair or you put your feet on the chair and you're doing rows on the harder version as well. So up to you guys. Take your pick. Okay, and let's go. Okay, you can always adjust your feet positioning to make it harder or easier, just like you are on the TRX. That's it, Nitty. Nice, Kenny. 20 seconds. Nice, Karen. There you go. Keep that back nice and straight. Okay, you can put a dinner plate on that back and it won't fall. Good job, guys. Good job not shifting the hips too much. Nice. And rest. Good. Rest, rest, rest. Curl and press. Next. 
So next up, guys, you guys, you guys, you guys will be doing bicep curl and chest press. Okay, so turn it around so the back of the chair is facing you, like what Herman is demonstrating. You're gonna curl up and press. Okay, let's go, let's go. Good. Curl up and press. Curl up and press. I see a lot of dining room chairs. Wow, I'm really proud of you guys. There you go. Ooh, Reva has some weights. Wow, look at you, girl. Okay, keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Nice. Nice. Joy looks like she has a heavy chair. <laughs> Kenny's little one, she has a chair too. Yeah. All right, guys, get ready. Side to side twist. Let's go. Side to side twist. If your chair is really heavy, you can do it standing up. Okay, if you're doing it standing up, guys, make sure not to turn your shoulders too much. Just move your arms left and right. Use your core to help you guys turn it. There you go. So that way we're not pivoting and we're actually using the core to lift and move it around. Good. Nice, guys. Keep it up. Nice, Teresa. There you go. Got a little bit of weights there. Okay, that's it, Susan. Keep it up. Looking good, Linda. There you go. One and rest. Good. Rest, rest, rest. Back to the top. Push up. Okay, we're going back to push ups, guys. So either incline or decline. You guys take your pick. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we've already started. Push ups, push ups, push ups. So again, guys, try to always work on full range of motion and not how many reps you can do. Okay, I'd rather have you guys do five reps that are really good and amazing than 30 shitty reps. Okay, I wanna see really good reps. Nice, that's it, Jonathan, there you go. Solid reps there, Teresa, you as well, Karen. Great work. Nice job. That's it, Susan. And touch. Wonderful. Renegade ropes. Hands up. Three, two, one, rope. Okay, so with this motion, guys, try to really visualize your elbows driving back, not so much your arms fail, flailing back. Just drive the elbow back. There you go. Okay, it doesn't have to come back too far. Okay, elbow stops once it goes to the top of your ribs. Good. Okay, just drive those elbows back. Nice, Rehan. That's it, Homa. There you go. Good control. Nice. Okay, your body is nice and straight. Stiff as a board, good. So keep that in alignment. Good, and time, guys. Okay, you guys, going back to curl and press. So bicep curl and chest press. Ready, guys? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So control that chair. Okay, make sure you don't stab yourself with your legs and the, the thighs, control it. Come up, press out, come back in. Okay, again, with the, with the breathing, always exhale at the hardest part of any movement. Okay, so when you lift the chair up, when you push out, try to breathe out. Okay, so that means when you pull it back in, replenish that air. Nice. Good, and time, good job guys.
five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, let's go, guys. So Herman's going to show you guys the standing version. Okay, notice how his, his head is still facing forward, right? He's letting his torso do the work. Okay, try to work on your obliques, the core muscles, okay, surrounding your, your tummy. Good. Okay, imagine you're keeping your eyes on the camera the whole time, okay, as you're doing this, going side to side. Good. Okay, so control it, control it. That's it, Dina. Wow, Joy, that chair is, what, 25 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> like, she picked the heaviest chair in I know. solid ah. wood and leather. Good job, guys. Time, time, time. Last round. One more round, guys. Looking good, Joy. Keep it up, Karen. <laughs> That's it, Riva. Two, one, push up. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Going back to push ups. So, incline or decline on your chair. Feet on. The chair or your hands on the chair. It's so up to you guys. If you want to do it without the chair, that's fine too. Okay, you can do regular push-ups as another modification. Nice. Okay, so for this one, focus on your chest muscles, your triceps, pushing away from the chair, pushing up. Okay, everybody looks, everybody's looking good. And rest. Okay, rest, rest, rest. Back to the world. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rows. Okay, going back to rows, guys. Okay, so drive that elbow back. Nice. Okay, good. So slow and controlled is the name of the game here, guys, for these rows. So slow it down. Okay, add a little bit of a squeeze in your back when you do it. Okay, a few more seconds, guys. Good, time. Okay, you guys going back to bicep curl and press. So get that chair in position. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> so guys, if your chairs are super light, if you wanna make it harder, slow down the movement. Okay, if your chair is really heavy, try to do it a little bit quicker. Okay, so we don't always have to change our weights to make things harder or easier. You can play with the timing. Okay, so let's slow it down. That way you expose all the weak muscles that tries to get by by doing it quick. Nice, guys, good. You're also less likely to stab yourself in the leg with your chair if you do it slowly. Nice. That's it, Martina, you're looking great. That's it, Sonia. Good job. Good job, Nitty. That's a funky looking chair you got there, I like it. Ready, guys, side to side twists. Let's go. Side to side twists. Twenty seconds. Okay, keep going, guys. Got about 15 seconds left. You can do it, Joy. You can do it. About 10 seconds left. Come on. Okay, pick that chair back up. Five, four, three, two, and five. Time. Good job. Way to not quit, you guys. Awesome. Get some water. One minute break. And we got a finisher on the right up.
You're gonna stay hydrated, guys. I like how everybody's just chilling and resting on their chair. They're like, all right, might as well use it. <laughs> there you go. So our finisher is going to be a tabata. It's going to be four exercises, going two rounds each. Going 20 seconds per exercise, 10 seconds rest in between. Okay. So exercise number one is going to be our incline derby. So we're going to hop into that punch and up to that. Okay, now we got halfway through the So there's a less range of motion, so that means you can do more reps or exercise number one. Exercise number two and three is going to be our fire hydrant. Hands are going to be on the chair. You're going to bend that knee, bring it up to the five. You're going to stay on that same leg for 20 seconds. So we'll be targeting our glutes here. And then 20 seconds on the other side. And for exercise number four, grab seat, rolling into that three way knee tuck. You'll be hitting our core in all directions. Okay, so those four exercises, two rounds, 20 seconds each exercise, 10 seconds rest in between. So let's get ready. <coughs> All right, guys, let's get ready. Let's start with that incline burpee. So like Herman said, you guys should be doing more reps than normal because you're doing less range of motion. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, make sure you guys put your weight right down into the chair. You're not sliding or pushing the chair away. Okay, so make sure you guys are stable. Push your weight down into the chair, not sliding it away from you. Good. That's it. Time, guys. Three, two, one. Okay. So next up, guys, fire hydrant. Okay. Keep your knee relatively bent. You, you guys are using the same leg. You guys are gonna switch after. Okay. This is called fire hydrant because if you guys ever seen a dog use the bathroom, visualize that. Let's so pick up the same leg. Two, one, and rest. Awesome. Okay, let's switch it up. Three, two, one. Other side. And go. So other leg, guys. So over here, you're going to be working your glute med muscle, guys, on the side of your hips. So squeezing that muscle there. Control coming back down. Try not to turn or rotate your hips or torsos too much, guys. Let it come from your hips, from your Three, glute med. Two, one. Awesome. Great job, guys. So you guys got seated three-way knee tucks. Okay, you ready? Go, go, go. So three-way knee tucks, guys. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, guys. Back to the burpee. Three, two, one, let's go, burpees. Let's go, guys. Burpees, burpees, burpees. Okay. Last round. Let's go hard. Back, back, back. Okay. Let's... Okay, let's rock this burnout, guys. Let's go. Two, one, rest. Fire hydrant next. Good job, guys. Fire hydrants next. Pick one leg and stick with it. One, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, good. Keep it up, guys. So don't force it. Come up as high as you can and then come back down. Don't let your hips turn. Three, two, one. 
Very nice. Other side, Max. Okay, you guys ready? Other side. And go, other leg. Here we go, guys. Knee tucks. Knee tucks. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's finish it. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Next time you guys are at the dinner table, you can play footsie like this. Okay, kick them over. <laughs> Almost there. That's it, guys. Let's go. Finish off with that core. And, uh... Good job, guys. Nice work, grab some water, and then we're gonna stretch it out. Get some water if you guys need it. Okay, Herman's gonna run you guys through a cool down. You guys are gonna stretch it out. All right, we're ready. We're gonna start with our triceps. So let's bring our left arm over head. Hands between our shoulders, right hand push that over down. Stretch out the triceps. the breathing into the nose, up to the mouth. Keep releasing, switching arms, stretching the tricep. Okay, we're going to bring that right arm forward across the chest, and stretch over the shoulder. And 
Moving over to the left side, pulling that right seat left. Pressing that right quad. And releasing. On to our belly, hands by the shoulder. Going to stretch out the core. Up into our cobra. And looking over our left shoulder. And to the stretch. Stretch out the Keeping our knees down, we're going to shift our hip back into our child pose, arms overhead, stretching up the back. And knees up into the air, hips up in the air, downward dog, pushing our heels down towards the floor, stretching those calves. And walking our hands towards our feet. And slowly moving ourselves up. And that completes our afterburn tonight. Thank you guys for joining me. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Ken, for the help. Good job, everybody. That's it. Thank you. I'm glad to hear Good job, everybody. Yeah, thank you. It was awesome. For a couple more seconds, you want to take some pictures? <clears throat> Go thank ahead. You. Take your sweaty <laughs> selfies with Herman in his chair. Herman, can you post? Do something? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that's imposing. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs>